Yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Malcolm, and today I'm here to talk about the new movie, Suzume. Let's get into it. I'm just gonna be straight up honest. I really, really enjoyed this movie. Honestly, more than I thought I was going to. So here's the thing. Suzume was directed by the same person who made Your Name. However, I've never seen Your Name, so I really had no idea what to expect. I've heard a lot of good things about Your Name. Now, it's definitely on my lineup. I'm probably gonna watch it within the week but I had no idea what I was going into walking into this movie. The film follows a 17-year-old high school student, Suzume Iwato, and university student, Sota Munakata, who team up to prevent a series of disasters across Japan. A lot of the people who watch my reviews before know I normally go a lot more in depth into like the plot and the themes of the movie, but I only read that description off of Wikipedia because I kind of want you guys to go in as fresh as possible. There's going to be slight spoilers in this review, but I'm not really going to give everything. And the reason for that is I went into this movie not knowing anything at all. All I knew is what I had seen from the trailers. It was about a girl and a door and like a little bit of like mystical fantasy aspect of it. But I didn't really know what I was walking into. And I think the movie does a really good job of capitalizing on that because as you're watching the movie, you only know what Suzume knows. I feel like a lot of times when I watch movies, they give us a lot of background knowledge and they kind of give us extra stuff to move us along. But throughout the whole movie, it was a little bit confusing, but in a good way. Because Suzume is a regular high school girl and she gets thrown into this new world of new elements and things that she has no idea about and she's trying to figure out how to go about things and that's exactly how we feel watching the movie you're watching it trying to piece it together the same way she's trying to piece it together like there's a cat that i don't really know a whole lot about this person got turned into a chair and i don't really understand how that happened or why or what's going on and it was very confusing but in a very refreshing way because I haven't watched a movie that made me feel like that in a really long time. And it was awesome to really just go along with the journey because that's what this movie was. It was a journey. It was her on a road trip of discovery and discovery in a lot of different ways. She was discovering this mystical element of the world that she didn't know about with her partner in crime. And they were kind of trying to figure out what was going on. But it was also a movie of discovery because Suzume had been living a certain way with her aunt and her aunt was kind of stifling her in a way. And this was her own way of kind of going out into the world and becoming her own person and understanding what really the world is about, what she wants and kind of healing from a lot of the old trauma that she's been holding on to for a very, very long time. And I'm talking, this is trauma that she didn't even fully understand. Like she had tried to lock this away in herself and not think about it and forget about it. And she even did forget about it. And this journey gave her the ability to really rediscover herself, rediscover that pain and kind of heal from it, let go of it and look forward to the future. There is no way we could talk about this movie without talking about the animation. When I tell you this shit was absolutely gorgeous. I was in awe in multiple parts of the movie where I was looking and I was like, oh my God. This looks fantastic. I turned to my girlfriend and said that multiple times. There were multiple times where I was like, can you believe that somebody drew all this? Like, can you believe that this is drawn? It, it's honestly mind boggling. And I watch a lot of anime. Y'all who know me know, I watch hella anime. But this animation was on a different level. Like movie quality animation is just crazy. And there were a lot of aspects of the movie where they used 3D animation, but they used it very sparingly and very tastefully to the point where it didn't really ruin the viewing experience. I feel like a lot of times when you add 3D animation into some shit, it's very obvious that it's 3D animation and it kind of throws off the vibe a little bit. I didn't really feel like that watching this. It was noticeable, but it didn't change the viewing experience very much. Now, honestly, I didn't really have many negatives for this movie, except for maybe two. One of the negatives of this movie probably would have been an aspect of the relationship building. There's a point in the movie where Suzume has to make a decision. Where I don't even know if she has to make a decision. Suzume makes a decision that feels a little selfish and it's based on her relationship with one of the characters. While I get it, this is anime, this is emotional and emotions build fast. It kind of felt a little too fast and it didn't feel fully believable. I get it, people can fall in love quick and I don't even, fully understand what type of love it was. But it, it, it just felt a little rushed. It felt a little rushed and unrealistic for the amount of time these people had been together. Like to make such a 
big and rash decision based on emotion for a person that you've known for about three days feels kind of ridiculous. It, it feels ridiculous to me. And not in like a negative way, but I was just watching like, eh, it wasn't believable. I feel like everything about this movie was very believable, realistic, and it felt like decisions that me or other people would make in real life. And that part of it just felt a little unrealistic was just how fast the relationship developed. And the second negative that I'd say I have for the movie, and this is kind of nitpicky, honestly, it wasn't a big negative for me, but I would say this is kind of just a negative in the movie watcher world nowadays, is that it was a little long. Uh, it felt it felt a little long. The movie's about two hours long, which in the grand scheme of things isn't that long for a movie, and I personally love long movies, um, but it dragged on just a tad. My girlfriend, she said that it felt a little long to her. And even as someone who likes long movies, certain aspects of it were drawn out a bit. She's on a journey, so she's meeting a lot of new people and she's meeting these families and kind of getting integrated with people. And some of those moments took a little bit. They, they took a little while. Like while her meeting these families and these people is very vital to the story, I think they could have cut them down a bit. She spent a long time with that old lady and her two kids. And I think that her talking to Soda's grandfather, it, it didn't really feel necessary to the story. I think that part could have been skipped, honestly. I think there were a couple small moments where they could have cut down the runtime of the movie just to make that pacing feel more fluid and a little less drawn out you kind of are waiting for the end by the end of the movie. But those small negatives aside, this movie was absolutely fucking beautiful. The scoring was amazing. That music really gets you emotional. There were points in time where, I don't know, I might have been on the brink of crying. I On the brink. Y'all know I'm a thug, so I'm not going to cry, but it, it did get a little emotional. Like <laughs> Me and my girlfriend, we were walking out of the theater, and there was this one lady who was in the movie with us, and she was in the hallway, face red, like tears streaming down, because it really... It is an emotional movie. There are a lot of emotional moments and I could see why that would choke somebody up. Not me though. It ain't choke me up, but I get why it would choke some people up. Overall, I enjoyed this movie a ton. If I had to give it a rating, I'd probably give it a solid 8.5 out of 10. Um, honestly, it could have got a nine if it just would have been for a little bit more on the relationship between Sota and Suzume um, and the runtime. That probably would have got it to a nine, but an 8.5 is still really good. Great movie and I would highly recommend it. Honestly, this is gonna make me go watch your name. Honestly, I'm also super excited my girlfriend liked it because she doesn't normally like anime stuff and we watched it subbed. So I was kind of nervous like, ah, she's gonna have to read subtitles the whole time. She probably not gonna rock with it, but she genuinely did enjoy it. So I think I'm gonna try to use this to get her to watch your name and I'm gonna try to turn her into an anime fan with me. I don't know if it's gonna happen, but I'm gonna give it a shot. But thank you guys for watching. I'm on the road to 1K subscribers, so please hit that sub button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.